this place is a mess i just went grocery shopping it's actually been like an hour trying to unpack dealing with all the kids my sink is full of dishes mostly cups we have like 75 extra kids here today alex just took them all to the splash pad so godspeed to him today we are meal prepping have a lot of mouths to feed okay and really are we meal prepping or are we just i need to your help for a second while i pause that the toilet guy's on his way oh my gosh just kidding we have a toilet guy coming today i'm out of breath i just cleaned the whole house I thought, great, it's just my friends hanging out today. I, they're just gonna see my dirty kitchen. Nothing that they haven't seen before. But then Alex got a call from the toilet guy. Yes, we bought new toilets. Can I tell you the most boring thing to buy as an adult? Toilets, $500. Needless to say, I'm not getting a new oven this month. <laughs> Let's move on to the food. I just, I need to eat something, okay? Summertime treats is what we're making today. I was going to make all sugary treats. But then I figured uh, we probably just need some nutrition in our bodies as well. It is summertime after all. So we're going to make some Tuscan tortellini salad, some deviled egg pasta salad, lots of pasta salads, lots, lots of light and delicious side dishes and treats because it's summertime. We don't want anything like hot, right? Watch the next thing, I, it's gonna be hot. Strawberry shortcake fluff salad, most excited about this. Cantaloupe salad with honey lemon dressing. I wanted to make this in my last meal prep, so today's the day. Ooh, cranberry orange scones, but 86 the cranberries. That's an Ina garden recipe. Can't wait. Moist lemon cake. I went to Starbucks the other day with Avelina, which we never go. We actually went to Target and Starbucks just happened to be there. And she was begging for a drink. I guess it's like cool to get a Starbucks drink. Don't ask me, I'm not cool. So I bought her one, a uh, spoiler alert, the dragon fruit refresher or whatever it is called has caffeine in it. Little did I know, I should have known, but I didn't. Starbucks has lemon cake or lemon pound cake, whatever it's called. A rose by any other name, yes please. Some bacon ranch bell pepper poppers and for the final attraction, I don't know what order I'm going to make these, some pineapple dole whip. I hear so many people talk about this. It's like a Disney staple, but now everyone's talking about blue milk. No thank you to that. But I figured summertime treat, pineapple, delicious. Dole Whip, delicious. It's only three ingredients. One ingredient is vanilla ice cream. Uh-oh, do you hear it? All right, we don't have time for that. I'm gonna unpack the groceries, clean off my counter, because it is gross. We're gonna hop into the recipes. 20 minutes later, oh my gosh, look! Look what I bought! <laughs> Did I say we're gonna hop into the recipes? Have we met? <laughs> How's my part looking? Little weird, little weird. I got a micro blade. It's about dang time. I thought, if I'm gonna make Ina Garden's orange scones, I gotta take it up a notch, okay? Next level. How to make Ina Garden proud, because I know she's watching. I'm gonna put the food behind me. I know you don't mind. If I'm looking for the eggs later, I put them in the fruit drawer. Some treats, some treats. I may have overcommitted myself. That's a lot of recipes, but I feel like we can get it done lickety split. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's been like an hour. You guys know it's time to hydrate. Purifies the soul. There's a lot of recipes. Apparently I also printed out all of the reviews for the best Tuscan tortellini. So, husband loves this. All right. <laughs> Hold on, I'm not making this up. I bring this to our Catholic <laughs> Senior Swingers Club meeting. No judgments. It's a big hit, she says. You know what, all the reviews are five stars, so how can we not make this first, right? Wow, that was a treat. So, Tuscan tortellini salad, what do we need? So apparently here's everything that we need. Some tortellini, star of the show. I got some fresh tortellini, mostly because I didn't wanna mess it up, you know? Watch me mess it up anyway. I feel like every time I buy tortellini in the pasta aisle, it's like, tough. So I got some a sausage tortellini and some cheese tortellini. Mix it up. I don't think you need this much, but these were on sale, so I went with the sale and I thought more is better than less because I'm feeding a crowd here every day. Some baby spinach, sun-dried tomatoes, oil, honey, balsamic vinegar, which I have this balsamic glaze. Is this 
not the right thing. <laughs> Too bad, that's what I have. I have some hard salami sliced up, or you can be fancy and get prosciutto, but I thought I was fancy enough spending five stinking dollars on freshly grated Parmesan cheese. If you don't have freshly grated, use what you have. Use the little powder stuff, I don't care. Catching those Ina Garten vibes, like, if you don't have cows in your backyard to milk and pasteurize and make cheese yourself, you can go to the store, it's totally fine. First things first, we're gonna cook up the tortellini. Ooh, it smells good. I can just eat it, right? Mmm, this tastes really good. Do you know how time consuming it is to make tortellini or ravioli? I've done it before, before I had kids. I'm just gonna bring this to a boil. Oh my gosh, this is great. I need to start buying tortellini as a snack. This is delicious. I would recommend buying an extra container of these and just setting them aside to snack on. How long do these cook for? Seven minutes on the clock. We're gonna move on to the dressing. To which you will need a quarter cup of olive oil, two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. That looks natural. Am I not supposed to keep this in the fridge? Half a tablespoon of honey, and then some salt and pepper. Give this a nice whisk. Did I go too heavy on the balsam? Uh oh, we're boiling over over here. Just give this a mix. It's no big deal. Half a cup of sun-dried tomatoes, diced. Well, I already bought mine, all chopped up, julienned. Is that half a cup? What am I gonna do with the rest? I'm just gonna dump them all in. If there's one thing I don't like, it's storing random stuff in my fridge. Oh my gosh, get a load of this. Three quarters cup chopped salami. I'm just gonna give it the old a one, two, dicey dice. What am I supposed to do, just sprinkle it in? I guess you can use any meat here that you want, pepperoni, or just leave it out if you don't want meat in it. Summer sausage would be great. How do you measure lunch meat in cups? <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna give this a toss. That's looking great. The tortellini is ready to be drained, and I will say, it tastes better when it's cooked. I'm gonna throw this in a bowl. I don't know if this has to be cooled. The, the directions don't specify. Ooh, hot, 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 hot. Well, I guess I'm just gonna dump the dressing right over top. I feel like we may need to add a little bit more oil because I did cook more pasta than the ingredients called for. Okay, yeah, a little bit more oil, why not? Give this a mix. This is weird, a little, it's a little weird. Oh, you know what? I'm supposed to add half a cup of baby spinach. And you know what I have found? My body is not a huge fan of raw spinach. I guess I should have got a bigger bowl, huh? I'm hoping that the heat of the pasta will somewhat wilt the spit. This is crazy, like I'm not even mixing at this point. I don't wanna get a bigger bowl because, <laughs> I mean, hello, I've already dirtied this one. Add a little more spinach because nutrition. Let's see if I can mix it with the lid on. Oh, it's so hot. Oh, it's hot. Is it working? No. Okay, I'll see you in about four hours. Well, I'll tell you what, the picture on Pinterest looked way better than this. I had to take some pictures for the gram. A little food presentation, if you will because we first eat with our eyes and then our mouth, so. Bon appetit. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is delicious. The honey gives it a little sweetness. The balsamic vinegar gives it a little zing. The spinach gives it a little color and a little nutrition. I can definitely see why Wendy brings this to her swingers club meeting every month. Five star ratings, I definitely would agree. One more bite before we move on. Well, hold on a stinking second there. I didn't spend over $5 on fresh Parmesan cheese for nothing. Oh my gosh. Why? Still good. Oh my. Come on, Parmesan, help me out. I'm trying to get the Food Network to call me back. <laughs> Whoa, this elevates the dish to another dimension. Extraterrestrial level, okay? Here's what the big time chefs do. Tap, tap. Well, now we need another taste test. Same fork, going in. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's Gucci. But, like, if you don't have Parmesan cheese, don't go out and buy it. It doesn't make or break the dish. I'm posting to Instagram. Well, I'm not sure how we're gonna top that, but we are sure going to try. Strawberry shortcake fluff salad is next on my drool-worthy list. It seems pretty simple, which is always a plus. 
and it has a lot of like store-bought ingredients so you're not sitting there making them by scratch which I feel like is a nice convenience when you are making a lot of food for like a barbecue or something I can't find the whip topping anywhere I thought it would be outside of where I would put it Alex did help me put some groceries away so maybe he put it in the fridge what a man what a man what a matter good man should we go with name brand or store brand? I feel like I'm going to need it in another recipe too. Or maybe I just bought it to eat, which is probably likely. All right, are we ready? Are we ready for it? There's no way this is healthy. You think, ooh, strawberry shortcake fluff salad, strawberry salad, yes please. Nutrients in my body, but really it's sugar on top of sugar, on top of sugar, on top of butter and sugar and natural sugar. So, let's get to it. <laughs> no time like the summertime to have a nice treat. I'm gonna rinse up these strawberries real quick. Tum, 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 chubby, tum, tum. And I have to tell you something, these strawberries look divine. <laughs> Why? Why, man? That's my trash compactor. If that thing dies, I will buy one immediately. <laughs> That's one of my favorite things about this house, that trash compactor. All right, give him a good bath. That's good. Good enough. Oh my gosh, look what I found. Cookies. <laughs> Bowl full of cookies. We recently gave blood. I shared that on my Instagram. And the lady came out because, you know, first I went in and Alex watched the kids. It was just like a spur of the moment kind of thing. And then Alex went in and I hung out with the kids. So the lady knew that we had, you know, kids in our car. So she comes out with the basket full of treats and she's like, take as many as you want. Uh. Oh, okay, I gotta cut the strawberries. Ooh, la 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 la. Where's my strawberry cutting knife? Got it. You know, it's always in the last place I look. If I had a favorite summertime treat, strawberry shortcake would be up there. You know, I'm not saying it would be it, but it would definitely be up there. All right, I'm just going to slice up these amazingly delicious strawberries. Man, they smell so good. Perks of being the chef. Wow, these are the best June strawberries I've ever had. Hello, how'd you do? I'm not broken, I'm just split in two. Hope you're fine, ain't got time to do everything you said you would. Frames of the past and the memory of you just come running by. Pictures of sunny days with your smile and the power. Change. So these look good. What next? All right, well, here's what happened here. Turns out you only need half of one pound cake or angel food cake. You can make it yourself, of course. But, uh, who, I don't have time for that. Half of a pound cake? I can eat half a pound cake by myself for breakfast and then have seconds. <laughs> I'm gonna cut up the whole thing. Whatever, it's my strawberry shortcake fluff salad. I'm just gonna cut it into cubes. Oh my gosh. Can I tell you something? Every morning for breakfast when I was in college, I had a piece of pound cake Nutella all over it, and I would slice up a piece of fruit to make me feel like it was balanced out, you know? And it was delicious, man. And every morning I would wake up and just look forward to that. My mom actually read one time, oh, I'd have to cut this in half too, because these are, the cubes are too big. So one time my mom read a study, or I don't know, probably something on Facebook that was like, eat your dessert for breakfast. And that's really all she told me. I assume it's just to get it out of your system so you're not sitting there all day waiting to eat something sweet. Don't deprive yourself, just portion control it. I've never made anything like this, like a tort, is that what they call it? No, that's not right. I don't, you know what I mean? With It's like this and it has layers and it, you put it in like a punch bowl. You know what I'm talking about. I've never made one, so this is a real treat. Half a loaf in my toe. All right, what do I do? I think I'm overthinking this. You just dump it all into a bowl, right? You know, I'm just trying to get that Pinterest-worthy picture. This whole thing of marshmallows? Are they crazy? All right, I'm just gonna do like half a bag. That seems excessive. Oh my gosh, when's the last time you had a marshmallow? It is some more season. Oh wow, that is so good. All right. I say it every time. You know what? I never used to make stuff with whipped topping. This stuff is delicious. They should use it in more things. 
And to make it even more delicious, you we are using 14 ounces of sweetened condensed milk. Alex used to drizzle this on his ice cream. And we're going to mix these two ingredients together and then add them to the bowl. Just the whole container of whipped topping. It's probably a great idea that Alex put it in the fridge because we do need it to be thawed out a little bit so we can mix it together. You know why I was initially looking for this recipe? Well, first of all, I was on Pinterest, scouring Pinterest for the best of the best. I hope you guys know I, I spend hours upon hours looking for really great recipes. So I hope I deliver. Anyway, so I was looking and I thought, you know what, my aunt makes this orange fluff salad with tapioca and I don't know, something else. So I typed in orange fluff salad, I think, and this came up and I just thought, oh wow, this is probably way less healthy but way more delicious. That looks about good, so I'm gonna dump it in this bowl. Oh my heavens, that looks like heaven, hold on. Oh, we keep on waiting. Wayne, if you're standing at a distance. That got out of control. We gotta stage the scene, guys. Only you will know the truth behind my Instagram photo shoot. It's not even done yet, but I feel like our tummies are rumbling. Am I wrong? You wanna come over for like a summer barbecue so we can have some strawberry fluff salad together? Cool, come on over. Okay, I'm trying to come in with this perfect Pinterest pour. Oh, that's too much. That's, there's no way she poured all of that in for her photo. You know what, if I wasn't trying to take this photo, mix that stuff in the bowl first so you don't have to wash two bowls. Okay, let's just pour the rest in. We got a nice little picture there. That's what life is really about. And then we give this a little mix. I was reading through the recipe and she says, after a couple of days, yes, days, the marshmallows do start to break down, disintegrate, I don't know, turn to pure sugar. So she suggests, I don't know, doing something, but you know what I suggest? Eating it the first two days. <laughs> Half a loaf of pound cake. Oh my, are you seeing this? Do you see this? If this doesn't bring all the boys to your yard, my strawberry shortcake fluff salad brings all the boys to the yard. They're like, can I have some please? I'm like, there's not enough, go away. Okay, hold on. Some could argue that that looks better than the Pinterest picture. And I would slightly agree with that. But how does it taste? I'm using the same fork as the pasta. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me get a little. Oh, you know what? Smaller pieces is my recommendation. Cut them into smaller pieces. What? Fork drop. My taste buds are doing a tap dance. This is so delicious. Yep, I'd make that. I'd, five star rating, 1000%. Okay, we're only two down, I gotta get going. Dense milk and whipped cream, what a treat. How are we gonna top that? Top that, I stop that. I don't really give up about trying to top that. I'm sorry, name that movie and we're on best friend status. That's one of my favorite movies of all time. I made Alex buy it for me on DVD like 15 years ago. Okay, into the fridge. I feel like my entire body is sticky. Okay, what's next? I don't, I don't know how it's going to get any better than that. Oh, you know what, Will? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ina Garden's orange scone or some moist lemon cake. Hold on though. I feel like we need another easy recipe here. Another nice appetizer. Let's go with the bacon ranch bell pepper poppers. I don't know what I was saying. Was I saying that this could be a great appetizer for really any get together or if you just need a snack halfway through the day. You need some ranch seasoning, cream cheese, cheddar cheese, mayonnaise, bacon, and bell pepper. Again, I feel like the really the only ingredient that's healthy is this. <laughs> So are these supposed to emulate like jalapeno poppers? But if you don't like the spice of a jalapeno, can you make it kid friendly? I think this is keto too. I mean, it doesn't specifically say, but I think it's keto. Not that I'm keto, I don't care, but I have a sister-in-law that lives the keto lifestyle. So I'm always trying to find, you know, recipes to make for her too. So I'm just cutting all of the bell peppers in half, all of them. I would say all of them. And you know what? Hoo 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 hoo! I kind of understand why bell peppers are so expensive. I tried to grow bell peppers once. I had a garden in Italy. It sounds so chic. It was not as chic as it sounds. Or maybe it was. <laughs> it was on our 
backyard balcony, which overlooked the river bank. That's not a lie either. So while I was checking the status of our blooming bell peppers, while listening to the river roar, uh, I realized, wow, this is hard stuff to grow vegetables. I think we got like two bell peppers. All of the watering we did, all of the maintenance we did. We, we try, I tried to grow so many vegetables and I, I think I, I feel like I may have gotten a very small head of cauliflower. I don't know, you know what, I did my best. And that's all we can do ever, right? Okay, I'm gonna seed these, wash them, and we'll be right back. Okay, you didn't miss much during your three second ad break, five seconds, I don't know. Welcome back to Semi Homemade with Kimberly Whisk. I have softened the cream cheese and chopped up the bacon. We're just gonna mix everything together in a bowl and then pipe it in the peppers. Like Peter Piper over here. I'm just going to smoosh the cream cheese around just so it's easier to mix in with all the other ingredients. Oh, by the way, that took me forever. The plumber has arrived, hallelujah. This is five strips of bacon cut up. If you have like the already cooked bacon, just add in a handful. Two tablespoons of ranch seasoning mix, one third cup of mayonnaise, then one cup of cheddar cheese. I'm just gonna mix that all together. Wait, no spices? Oh, I guess the ranch seasoning is the spice. I'm just gonna pipe the filling, pipe the filling. I'm gonna dump the filling into a bag and then pipe it into the peppers. You don't have to do this. I could have just used two spoons, but you know, we're getting fancy over here. Into my life, such a magic okay, well, there it is all complete. You know what this could use? Maybe some fresh dill or something. I feel like that could really elevate it. I feel like there's dill and ranch dressing. I'm gonna take the one with the least amount of filling, so I'm not a huge fan of filling, so. Yeah, that's good. It tastes like ranch dip, like with sour cream and stuff. Yeah, okay, you know the, um, the ranch dip that you can buy and then mix in with sour cream? It tastes like that, but you know, with the hint of bacon and cheese, so it's elevated a little bit, and I like that it's already like portioned out. So this is a winner, I would make it again. I've already moved on to starting the deviled egg pasta. And you know what? It has been a while since I've made hard boiled eggs like the normal way, the old school way, the way on your stove, not using the Instant Pot. And I did all the tricks. I took it off the heat, ran it under cold water, shimmied the eggs in the pot to crack them. These are still peeling like a nightmare. I'm just saying, good thing we are chopping these up. I didn't cook them long enough. Let's see inside. Oh my gosh, cooked to perfection. I'll tell you what, Instant Pot eggs never turn out like that for me. Pros and cons, my friend. It's 2 a.m. and I can't fall asleep. Cause I'm not tired I'm thinking about the days we used to shine When we were young I'm gonna finish the deviled egg salad in a little bit. I'm gonna wait for the noodles to cool. I just left them here in the sink. I'm mixing them every little bit. You can rinse them, but that just takes all the starches off of them and I find that the mayonnaise, the dressing, whatever, sticks better to the noodles if you don't wash them. Just saying. You know, do what you want. So I've moved on to the orange scones. You're supposed to add cranberries, but I don't, I'm not doing it. I was gonna make like a lemon scone. Oh, I found some really great recipes. It's basically the base of any scone recipe. You can add any flavor. So today we're going orange. You need all of the usual suspects, okay? Flour, sugar, butter, milk, all that good stuff. Four cups of flour goes in a little mixing bowl. A quarter cup of sugar is all you need. Wow. You need two tablespoons of baking powder and a couple teaspoons of salt. And then you need two teaspoons of grated orange zest. This is the reason why I bought the microplane. Finally, I feel like a real chef. Thank you, Ina Garden. This is one of the reasons I fell in love with Ina Garden because she cooks with, you know, zest and citrus and herbs. And it just seems so fancy. So I guess two oranges is how you get two teaspoons of orange zest. So I'm gonna spend the rest of my afternoon doing this. I told you that we should start a band 
and reach for the sky. It's 2 a.m. and I can't fall asleep. I'm just not tired. I can hear the raindrops falling. It's cold outside, and I kind of feel like calling. But it's too late now. And here's what makes me a professional. Right there. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this zest smells so good. I could just rub it here and be a happy camper. Essential oils? What? Who needs them? Mmm! Bad news, guys. One of the toilets we got is broken. So, oh, why can't anything just go smoothly? Why? It's okay. That's life though, right? Life happens. I'm getting all of the zest out of here because I worked hard for it. I work hard for the money. Cold butter, cold butter, makes our love with me. Makes our love with butter, 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 butter. Three sticks of butter. Hoo hoo! I'm gonna cut these into cubes and then incorporate it. Well, my butter is less than cold at this point, all that zesting and stuff. Uh, but that's okay. I can throw it in the freezer for a couple minutes or I can just keep on keeping on, which is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna whip this up in my KitchenAid with my paddle attachment just to incorporate everything at first. And then I'm going to add in all the butter. And she says to do it in a mixer like this, okay? This is Ina Garden, and she knows no wrong, so that's what we're gonna do. I feel like you need a better view. Here we go. Food processor, who? Oh, that wafting orange zest? Delicious. While that is mixing on low speed until the butter uh, are the size of peas, I guess, I don't know. Oh my gosh, a shell! Oh, this never happens. I'm so embarrassed. My well, life goes on. Okay, four eggs. Crack them one-handed or you're a loser. I'm just kidding. Look, it calls for one cup of heavy cream. Uh, guess what I'm fresh out of? Heavy cream, even though I just went to the grocery store, but I wrote down the ingredients for a different scone recipe. So I'm using buttermilk, although I'm pretty sure I just need the buttermilk for the pound cake. Whatever. That's what we're going to do. We're going to mix this up. Hold on to me when it's Such a good song. Okay, I'm just gonna give this a light whisk. Am I though? <laughs> what do I do, Lina? Little mix, a little mix. I should probably turn my oven on. <laughs> no! All right, well, we'll turn the oven on later. <laughs> it's not working. We'll give it a minute to warm up, okay? It just needs to warm up a minute. Is this it? Okay, let's go. Pour this into the mixture. Okay, see how this is nice and sandy and delicious? If you squish it between your paws, it stays together. That's exactly what we want. Keep it on low speed and you just pour this mixture right in there. Cool. Just until it combines. And that's looking pretty nice. It's a little wet. Hmm. Oh, but it tastes delicious. Hey, success all around. Success all around. 411 degrees on the oven. We're cranking it out. Well floured surface. That's it, that was so easy, this scone recipe. I put it in the fridge while I was working on the oven because we cannot mess up Ina's recipe. Respect Ina. So this dough is a little lumpy. She says, totally fine, don't worry about it. You're doing all the right things. I'm gonna dump it out into a floured surface. But first, I mean, you know we have to try this dough. I can smell it. I'm not sure if it's the dough that I'm wafting or the orange I put on my wrist. <laughs> and now my wrists are orange. All right, salmonella, I dare you. Yeah, okay, I can dig it. I think in my last meal prep video, I made a scone recipe. It was divine. So Ina gets real fancy with like a biscuit cutter and she makes them look all perfect. I'm going to go traditional here. I think you're supposed to handle it the least amount as possible. So I'm just going to form it into a disc. Oh, maybe that's why she does it, because there's just so much. All right, hold on, let's cut it in half, make two discs. Yeah. This is how we do it. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Oh, great, my pan's in the oven. I didn't ask it to play anything. Okay, stop that racket. Okay, I have my hot pan over here. Hot to trot. Too hot to trot. You know what I need? Bench scraper. Ooh, I'm excited about these scones. Take the skin of the butter and just grease your little pan. Grease it all up. Even, I mean, there's so much butter in here, no way they're sticking to that pan anyway. 
cut them into pieces. Oh, do scones make you feel fancy? Because they certainly make me feel fancy. Hold on, I'm gonna have to take a picture of this so this fanciness can live on forever. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where's the flower? Got it. All right, hold on. Gotta give you a view too, right? Hold me close, young Tony Danza. I learned the actual words, okay? Anyone else? So here's what it looks like. Are we joking at this point? They're not even done, and they look so good. Okay, we have to get these pretties into the oven. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited! I'll tell you what, I made scones for breakfast the other morning. Easy way to impress your friends. I'm telling you, it took me less time than if I were to make pancakes or anything else. Of course, I just made like, you know, chocolate chip scones, but they are a pleaser with every child. Okay, well, these look a little sad, but I, they're gonna taste all the same. And this is why I really bought a bench scraper, so I can clean up my mess afterwards easily. Here we go. <laughs> so Ina is real fancy. She uses an egg wash to top these. Uh, the recipe that I normally use just uh, suggests to top it with some milk. I have buttermilk right here. I think using this is easier. I don't waste any egg. Just to make an egg wash, you use a beaten egg with a couple tablespoons of water or teaspoons. No, she says tablespoons, but this is just as well. Okay, into the oven, 400 degrees for about 20 minutes. Oh man, what? Okay, wow, this bowl was just washed in our dishwasher. Oh no, it wasn't run. <laughs> I did a crappy job, it's did it filthy. We're moving on to the deviled egg pasta salad. Everyone knows about pasta salad, but do you know about deviled egg pasta salad? I feel like everyone has their own variation of how they like their pasta salad. Uh, it's all pretty much the same. Hold on, I'm not adding that yet. Well, okay, it's too late. I, I think I need a bigger bowl. I don't have a bigger bowl. I do, but I don't, you know? All right. Halloween or, this is pretty much the same size. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm pouring the pasta in here. We can mix everything else up in this bowl, sure. What do I need? Greek yogurt, mayonnaise, mustard. Oh, celery, oh, celery. Is it worth me getting the celery? Uh, okay, uh, okay. Did I record anything? <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm losing my mind. I don't, I don't know the last thing I filmed. I, well, we're making deviled egg uh, pasta salad over here. I'm just putting all the yolks in the bowl. I was talking about how I'm thankful I'm not making actual deviled eggs because these egg whites look miserable. But that's cool, that's cool. So we have egg whites. Nope, yolks, we've got egg yolks. Half a cup of Greek yogurt. I think there's half a cup in here. Plain Greek yogurt. And did you know that one of the worst things you can eat, I eat it all the time, is flavored yogurt. Just take a peek on how much sugar is added. I like the ones without sugar. The, I think they're just called Zero Brand, the Greek yogurt. I don't know, I read that somewhere. This doesn't have any added sugar either. Oh, because it's not flavored. I read that somewhere. Alex was talking about a list of like the worst foods you can eat and flavored yogurt was on there. You're supposed to add some Dijon. I don't have any of that, so I'm just adding normal yogurt. How much mayonnaise? Half a cup of mayonnaise. I really don't feel like dirtying another spoon. Half a cup. Lord almighty, one small red onion. I'll do whatever's left of this. It's a lot of red onion, especially for people who don't like red onions. I'm just gonna dice it up. You know what this recipe is missing? Relish. I really like relish. Is that pasta salad? Yeah, I like relish in my pasta salad. Oh, hold on. Have you seen the meme? Have I told you about it yet? That's like, would you like six eggs? No, thank you. Yeah, but what if I... Yeah, but what if I boil them, add mayonnaise, paprika, and serve it to you? Yes, please. Now, the meme is way funnier than that, but I'm just paraphrasing. This is driving me nuts. I'll tell you what, I think I'm losing my mind. I'm either turning the camera off or it keeps turning off. And I can't remember if I'm doing it or not. Oh, the battery is low. Okay, that makes sense. Hold on. I'm just going to, I don't know, chop up these egg whites just, just a little bit. Not too small. Small enough where it won't be like hanging out of your mouth, you know? A couple chippity chops. And then I'll add this to the mixture. 
calls for two ribs of celery. We're gonna go big and do three. And you know what's really exciting about this recipe? I think it's the first one where we're using fresh herbs. I bought some chives and I recently went to Lowe's and I got, I don't know, cilantro and basil and mint and that's why I was really excited to make this cantaloupe mint salad with cucumber, whatever. I don't know if we're gonna have time for that. I'm putting it off. Hopefully I'll be able to use some of my fresh herbs before they die. It calls for one to two tablespoons of fresh chives. So I'm just gonna chippity chop those up. Looks good to me. Just mix this up until it's well combined. Uh, it does say to add paprika. Uh, I'm gonna skip that. I don't know, I just, I think it's fine without it. You know what I will add though? A little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. Ooh, the nose knows. I sniffed it and these are done. Oh my gosh, they smell incredible. And there's, tw and there's 26 seconds left on the timer. Woo, those smell good. So simple, but so fragrant and delicious. I cannot wait to taste it. Okay, well, I've made a mistake. I feel like I'm doing pretty good. It's the first mistake I've made. And really, it's not a huge mistake. Half a pound of pasta. So I'm gonna take half of this. It's like, it says two and a half cups uncooked. So I'm just going to add half of this in here and mix it in. No big deal. That makes more sense with the ratios. I feel like fresh dill would be really good in this too. I have some. Should I just add it? Ooh, listen to this. Delicious! Okay, taste test. Same fork as before. Mm, it needs more salt. I'm just gonna add a little bit more salt and then a little bit more pepper. Maybe that it would benefit from some paprika too. It just needs to sit in the fridge and like cool and let the flavors marinate. So yeah, I would make that again for sure. All right, moving on. Okay, I'm moving on to the pineapple dole whip. Oh, there's food all at my feet. I feel like uh, my kids are going to be excited to come home to this treat. It's only three ingredients. Uh, you don't need this. And we might have to make the lemon pound cake another day, as sad as that is. I know, I wanted to make it too. Maybe I'll make it in my next vlog. Okay, a high-powered blender. Well, I don't have one of those, but I do have a food processor. <laughs> I feel like that works better than my blender. I have a juicer. Wish us luck. Three ingredients and people rave about this at Disney. What are the three ingredients? Oh, here it is. I scoured the aisles for this pineapple juice. Not sure I got the right one. It was expensive though. So you need just chunk pineapple, some vanilla ice cream, and pineapple juice. I found a lot of mango juice, but we are not making mango Dole Whip. If this is a hit, I do feel like this will be a little better than just serving my kids ice cream, like pure ice cream, because it does have a little bit of fruit, right? Oh, wow. How do they do that? Th these are frozen pineapple chunks, by the way. I almost got them, you know, cut up my own pineapple. This looks like, these look fake. Take a look. Don't they look fake? Take a look. It's in a book. A reading rainbow. Pineapple chunks go in the food processor after the blender. Oh, there's no room for anything else. Oh, you know what I have? Gosh, I'm stuffing on noodles. They're noodling. Check out this sweet ice cream scoop. One cup of ice cream. It's like my least favorite thing to do is scoop out ice cream. One cup of ice cream going right in. Some for the chef. Oh, I don't know how people eat ice cream. It's so cold. Not for me. And then half a cup of pineapple juice. And the reason I bought this one, I remember it is because of the jar and I thought I could reuse that. Half a cup, perfection, going right in. Let's let her rip. <laughs> Woo! Woo! It's not doing much, I'll tell you that. Hold on, I'm gonna give this another mix or two. Is it worth going to Disney just for this stuff? Now we're in business. Oh my word, this is creamy and dreamy. Wow. Okay, time for a taste test. 
Let's find out if it's worth all the hype. This is the same fork I had before. Okay, I plopped it in this container that I plan to throw in the freezer. I really think the kids are going to enjoy this when they get home. Uh, the bottom was a lot smoother. I let it process for, I don't know, about five more minutes. It tastes like pineapple sorbet, just like a creamy pineapple. I mean, it's good. It's not like an acidy, punch you in the face pineapple. It's like a, ooh, that's pineapple. The Dole Wilp is melting fast. But thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me and cooking with me. I hope you enjoyed your time here. Maybe got some good dinner, meal, snack, barbecue, side dish motivation. Summer staples. At least a good dessert, am I right? The oven's still on. Maybe I'll make some lemon pound cake or maybe tomorrow. Definitely soon because I'm Drew. That's what I'm waiting on the most. Okay. Oh, let me crack into these. Ooh. Oh. It could benefit from some cranberries. If you like plain pancakes these would be good for you maybe add some orange marmalade on them oh delicious oh actually it's supposed to have a topping like a glaze some powdered sugar and milk deal i don't know i feel like i'll leave it out i don't care i'm putting all the food away and i'm realizing i forgot to add the juice of the oranges that was an oversight whoops better yet you know what i think you use the juice for the glaze powdered sugar orange juice great glaze I'll definitely eat all of these. The texture is so fluffy. Nice and light and delicious. Thank you guys again for hanging out. I'll see you next time. Bye.